Well, it certainly seems I'm safe with you lot, the old man says shakily, dabbing the sweat from his brow with a luxurious-looking handkerchief. You would best deliver the man to next him, lest any more bandits decide to try their luck. The old man looks considerably relieved as the party sets foot inside Nexton. He reaches into his pack and hands you a pouch full of gold. This is to be your reward, he says. The next instant he takes off for the center of town, shouting, I shall be there soon, my love.
Good work. Can't walk on water. Your friends insist it was probably just a rock, but you're convinced it was a monster, and you can prove it. The rock adroitly avoids crashing into anything as it falls. Only monsters can move like that. Your friends breathe a sigh of relief as the monster hurdles ever farther away. telescope where you found it and make your way cautiously toward what you saw. You spot a loitering monster. These monsters are a common sight, but you've never seen one move quite like this before. You can't not fight such a unique monster. Eagerly, you draw your blade.
What you saw was only an old woman. You and your friends stumble over one another and barrel straight into her. Ow, oh, someone shouts. Seems like someone met the wrong end of the knife the woman was holding when you collided. I didn't do it, cries the woman, running off without even a hint of remorse. monster appears to be in pain. Seems the poor thing's been poisoned. You may be able to aid it by administering some antidote. You would help it if you could, but you have no antidote on hand. Unable to do anything more, you keep walking. Come across two men sitting on a rock. They take no notice of you or the party, but you can hear their fervent discussion. You listen in and deduce that they are a pair of thieves. You lean in, trying to hear what else the thieves are talking about. You catch pieces of the conversation here and there. I, I hid the goods. Head south just before the bridge. No, no. Whatever ye do, don't go into the bewildering wood. 
It sounds like they've just told you where to find their stolen loot. You hastily grab a scrap of paper, write down what you've heard, and quietly sneak away. You pick up a scrap of paper dropped by some manner of monster. It has a message scrawled on it in crude lettering. Clearly, whoever dropped this message did not want to forget where the stolen treasure is hidden. You stash the scrap of paper in your pack and resolve to keep an eye out for the treasure on your travels. Something's catching the sunlight just so. You move closer to get a better look at it. You find a chest lodged in the hollow of a tree. Something about this feels familiar. You fish a note out of your pack. Sure enough, this is the location those thieves mentioned when you were eavesdropping. Quite convinced you found their stash, you open the chest with a self-satisfied smirk on your face. Ah. 
A thick fog impedes your vision. You surmise this is in no small part why they call it the Bewildering Wood. You hear a beautiful melody flowing from the forest depths. It sounds like singing, or perhaps birdsong. As you listen closely, you are struck by a sudden dizzy spell. You sense a presence growing closer. It cannot react. The grass rustles, then a monster slowly shows itself from between the blades. It's a harpy. Realizing you've been caught in the harpy's trap, you ready your weapons. For some time after that, you find yourself trembling at the mere sound of a bird's tweet. Many a brave soul has set foot in this wood, only to be swallowed up and never seen nor heard from again, the traveler intones gravely. They also tell of a certain tool one needs to get through this place. about the enemy.
Light can't reach the furthest depths of the cave. It may be impossible to proceed without a torch. You light the torch. It'll be much easier to explore now with your surroundings better illuminated. torch lights your immediate surroundings, you still cannot peer far into the distance. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> 